Hey, it's Dan here, and what I'm going to be doing today is a uh, enchilada uh, casserole in my 12-inch Dutch oven. Um, I'm going to start out with my 13-inch lodge here, and I'm going to, um, I got some 80-20 chuck, and I'm just going to throw this in here, start browning it up. It's about 90 degrees today, even though the calendar says it's the 1st of October, but, uh, I usually don't pull out my uh, Dutch oven in this hot of weather because of heat from the coals and all that other stuff. But it's been a while since I've done a Dutch oven cook, so let me get this browned up and we'll be back in just a few. All right, this is about a quarter of the way done browning up. So uh, what I have is a little bit of this uh, fajita seasoning mix. It's just the generic stuff. You can get whatever brand you want. And I'm putting two packets of it. And I don't know if I mentioned earlier or not, but this is uh, 2.25 pounds of uh, ground beef. And like I said, this is the 80-20. But let me get this all mixed together, let it uh, finish browning up, and then I'll be right back with my next step. All right, this is all browned up real nicely. So the next thing I'm going to do is I diced up two medium onions. These are white onions. You can use whatever type you like, whatever you prefer. I just happen to have these on hand. That's why I'm using these. And then I have two cans of this whole kernel corn. This is golden sweet. And I drained every bit of the juice out of both these cans. Get this all mixed together. Get it all incorporated with everything. And then I, I'm going to have to pour this first before I can show it to you. That's one can of the uh, green chili enchilada sauce. Uh, the can I have is uh, 28 ounces. So let me get all this mixed in and all good and warm and then we'll be ready to start making everything in the Dutch oven. I'll be right back with you here in a few minutes. Alright, let me see if I can do this without getting totally in the way of the camera. But here's my 12 inch Dutch oven. I just oiled it down. I got my coal started over there. I'm going to put a little bit of this down on the bottom. I really want more juice than anything. Because unfortunately when I went to the store to get the tortilla uh, shells. All they had was already the preformed taco ones and uh, so I'm going to have to break them in half. No big deal to same concept. It's just not going to be big round like it normally is. I just need enough of this just to cover the bottom for right now. That way I don't have to worry about anything burning right there. Just grab these shells out of here. kind of make a layer and I'll show you this first layer but then I won't bore you with everything else
But there's a layer right there. So now I'm going to uh, grab my cheese real quick. Well, unfortunately, I had a little bit of a technical issue. I had to take my phone out of the case. I'm filming on my phone today, and uh, it said it got too hot, so I cooled it down. I got everything moved around. Hopefully, the, it's in the shade enough. Um, but like I was saying, my next step, I've got this uh, two pounds of cheese here, and I don't know if we'll use it all or not, but I bet you I do. Because we are going to make this a very cheesy casserole. And I don't know if you heard me earlier, but yes, I oiled this Dutch oven down good because there's going to be a lot of cheese in here. All right. And I hate reaching across the camera, but I had to reset everything up. Now what I have is a, a can of refried beans. And I don't know how well I'll be able to spread these coming straight out of the can, but when they heat up and everything, they'll spread out pretty good on their own. And I'm just going to use about half the can for this layer. Well, that's fighting me. Oh well. You guys get the point. This right here is going to be the first layer. I'm going to do another layer identical to that, and then I'll top it off again with cheese. I'll be back here in just a few minutes. All right. I ended up getting three layers of everything on here. Um, put the whole two pounds of cheese on it. Um, this is what it looks like. Everything's fully cooked in there, so really all I'm looking for is to heat everything up, get the tortillas nice and soft, and brown the cheese. So let me go play with my coals, and I'll be back with you here in just a couple minutes. All right, I got 10 coals underneath. I'm going to put a full ring of, on the top just so I can uh, make sure that that cheese gets good and brown. Like I said, I got two pounds of cheese total in this thing. I want it all to melt real good. If you guys enjoy my videos and everything, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, when you hit the subscription thing, there's a little bell next to it. Hit that bell and you'll get notified anytime that I'm putting a new video out and everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I kind of rushed through it a little bit because it's like 90 degrees out here. And that's really why I haven't put a whole lot of Dutch oven uh, videos out here lately. I've just been doing quick, easy stuff. Uh, once the weather cools down and stuff, I promise you guys, you'll see a lot more of me doing Dutch oven. But... I'm just going to finish putting these around the full ring, and then we'll see what it looks like. I'm going to guess 30 minutes. Um, I'm still going to turn the uh, top a quarter turn clockwise, the uh, Dutch oven a quarter turn counterclockwise every 15 minutes because I want even heating. Um, I'm going to guess 30 minutes. I'll check on it in 30. If it needs more, then I'll give it more. This charcoal will last plenty of time. This charcoal will last a good 45 minutes. But we'll see you all here in just a few. All right, it's been a little over 30 minutes, so let me grab my uh, camp-made lid lifter. I really enjoy this thing. And if any of you guys wonder if I'm, like, brand loyal or anything, um, I just buy whatever I like. The Dutch oven's a camp chef. The, camp, the table here is a camp chef. The lid lifter, and I have some other camp-made products. Um, <clears throat> if you guys noticed, I was cooking on a lodge skillet, that 13-inch skillet earlier. So just go out by whatever cast iron you like. Um, man, that is melting really good. Um, didn't brown up nearly as much as I thought, so I think I'm going to give it about 10 more minutes, and then I'm going to take it inside, let it cool down and everything. Then I'll be back with the taste test. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it 10 more minutes, see if I can get that just to brown up a little bit more on top.
Hey guys, I don't know if you can take a look at that plate. Man, this smells great. I'll actually tell you a secret. I did already try a bike just to make sure I wouldn't burn my mouth on camera again like I have several times before. This is very, very good. The one thing I would add to it if I wasn't taking it, um, I'm going to take leftovers of some other people and stuff. I didn't want to burn them up. Um, I really should have added a can of green chilies to this, but man, this is delicious. If you try this recipe, please let me know. I think you won't be disappointed. It is, it is very, very good. Um, I'd like to take a moment to thank Dee at Native Tears. I'm going to leave a link below to her channel. She's the one that does the uh, Cast Iron Wednesday playlist and everything. And that's kind of my niche anymore. I try to do a video every Wednesday. Uh, Shovelhead 8 is the one that actually got me involved with uh, uh, Cast Iron Wednesday. And he's the one that introduced me to D. Um, so I'll leave a link to him also. Check out that playlist. There's all kinds of videos of people doing great cast iron cooking. Well, thank you guys for watching this. And you all have a blessed day.